part of using SOLIDWORKS effectively is knowing what the tools are that are available as well as their layout in the interface. When you first open up SOLIDWORKS you'll notice the ribbon interface similar to the Microsoft Office Suite and this area is called the Command Manager and this will house most of your tools that you'll be working with typically when you're creating different geometry. There's quite a few tabs you can work with and various different tools. If I right click in on any tab I can remove out or add in more tabs. For example if I work with the surfacing tools I can add this in and those these will be readily available as well as sheet metal for example if I use as well. For newer users I typically recommend pinning open the pull down menus and the reason for this is that when you're new to SOLIDWORKS it can be easy to assume that the only tools you have available are those that are stored in the command manager but you actually have quite a few more in the insert and the tools pull down. For example if I come into features I have split, combine, move, copy, and delete body which are not by default on the features tab in the command manager. From the view pull down we have quite a few options for the view including what items we're able to see, how this is displayed, or how our model is displayed, different camera options, as well as what's showing in our toolbars, or what toolbars are showing, as well as how our workspace is set up. For example, if we have a dual monitor or a widescreen that we want to use. Within the file pull down, you'll find all your options to create new documents, open close items, save things out, and typically the other things that you'd find within any sort of Windows program. For example, the recent documents that you've had open. Moving to the right, you'll notice a name at the top for our part, as well as an asterisk indicating that this hasn't been saved. So this will reference the document name and show you if you've saved or not. By default there's several tools we can use, the undo, print, save, open, and new document, as well as the rebuild command which will rebuild the entire part. You can also add in items which I'll cover in a later video. And in terms of the tools and commands you have available, if you don't want to go into the pull downs, you can always search this out with the commands option, for example, the scale tool. And if you're using an earlier version of SOLIDWORKS, this commands search is a new option to SOLIDWORKS 2012, so it won't be available in any earlier releases. From here, we can also search the help for how to use certain commands or different items within SOLIDWORKS. We can also search the knowledge base as well as the community forum and if you have certain folders indexed for search you can search out for your files and models. Coming back over to the left there is an area to add toolbars and if you use certain options for example I was using blocks this toolbar automatically adds itself in for convenience. So below the command manager we have the feature manager design tree and several other tabs. Within the feature manager itself you'll see all of the feature history as well as the default planes, the material, and there are options for showing various folders. For example, we have two solid bodies in this case, so this folder is showing the two solid bodies. You can also modify the feature manager from the options and choose what items are shown. 
We also have a bar at the bottom that controls the rollback state of our part. And so we can roll this back through the history of the part and make edits before certain features were created. There's also a property manager for any custom properties that we want to add. Configuration manager to control both display states as well as our various configurations. The dimension expert manager which will allow us to create manufacturing dimensions and an appearance manager. Within the feature manager there's also a display pane that allows you to control the hide show state of different items as well as the transparency. For example if I select in this area it's going to change the transparency of this body. And you can also click in for an appearance. Lastly, in the Feature Manager, we have a search option. So if we want to search out what planes we have or any sort of feature, we can do that as well. Next to the right, in the middle of the screen, is the Heads Up display. The first option, if you ever find yourself losing your model off the screen, you can always hit the zoom to fit or just press F and that'll bring this back. We can zoom into specific areas as well as going to the previous view. We can create section views. And then we can also control our view orientation. Our display style. So if we wanted to change this to a wireframe, for example, we can do that as well. And similarly to the view pulldown, we have all these options for view from the goggles pulldown. Once again, we have another option for appearance. And then we have backgrounds, which we can change. And these provide both a different background as well as a different lighting scheme. And lastly, we can control our view settings. So if we want to save some performance, we can turn off real view graphics. Or if we want to display this is more realistic, we can add in these two options as well as the ambient occlusion, as well as perspective which is especially useful for creating realistic photo renderings. Just keep in mind that all of these things use a bit more performance, especially the real view graphics and the ambient occlusion. To the right is the task pane. The first option is SOLIDWORKS resources, and if you're new to SOLIDWORKS, it's generally good to go through these various things, as well as the tutorials that are available. Within the Design Library folder, we can access the default Design Library, the Toolbox. And if you're using the Toolbox, this is where you're going to access your components, even though there's going to be a Toolbox pulldown. You'll be looking here for Components. We can pull components from 3D Content Central, and there's some SOLIDWORKS content that can be added in. There's a File Explorer a view palette for drawings, once again another appearance tab, and another area to control custom properties. Lastly at the bottom we have several tabs, one for the model, and if we want to create motion studies we can right click in, create a new motion study or use this, as well as create a new design study and this is also where your simulations are going to go as well. In the right corner we can see the status of the part 
right now it says we're editing the part if we come in and edit a sketch it'll show the editing sketch as well as the definition state of that sketch overall that is the layout of the interface and where you're generally going to look to find all the tools that you'll be using